MK and I am here with Stretch the Sketch and this is the sketch that we will be working with today and it is by Dusty Attic. Um, I am also playing along with the prompts for Scrap Timber 2023 and Rediscover Your Stash um, is doing a prompt for today which is mixing old with new and the prompt for Scrap Timber 2023 is using um, something new. So I thought that it was perfect to mix them together. So I've got three dusty attic um, chipboard pieces going on today. And I have this old set right here that is the ship's wheel and then mixing it with this year's um, mechanical fish. I have some film strip and tickets from 49 and Market. And then the rest of them are from Simple Stories, Simple Vintage, vintage seas collection which i believe was last year's um coastal collection so i um i i'm not sure exactly how old i was supposed to go <laughs> my photos are from 2021 but um i i just don't know exactly like how old i just love mixing my products so and then Actually, to be honest, I didn't mix a whole lot of products because I did Simple Stories and Dusty Attic, and that's about it on this layout. Um, I do end up um, stretching this on two 8.5 by 11s for today. Uh, <laughs> and I love this collection, you guys. Now, this wood grain stripe right here is gorgeous, but I do love this collection, um, even though it is very monochromatic and has that little pop of red. It's just well put together. So anyways, going to finish off sharing my papers that I picked out. Now, I did pick out a um, off-white, I think it's like more like a foundation paper, this one right here, because I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to put my papers together just yet, but I am going to take the sketch where the big band of gray piece of paper um, is in the middle, and that's what I'm stretching, and then basically just splitting the photos apart and spanning them across a two-page layout, which in all honesty, in my, in my album, they are not going to be next to each other. They're actually going to be back to back and they're inserted in between a 12 by 12 double page layout that I will be doing um, for my blank to bold class. So that will be um, coming up soon in my class. If you guys are not signed up for the blank to bold class, we just started. Um, we had our first session last Sunday, and then we have another session today. Uh, if you guys are interested, you have not missed very much. If you guys are interested in um, popping in and getting a little bit of mixed media um, information, uh, or it, like to see some, uh, <laughs> I forgot what they're called, um, exclusive sketches made for just for mixed media and then we're going to show um, four different ways per sketch on how to adapt based off of the number of photos what your photos are or the page sizes basically as well so uh, if you guys are interested all right enough of me upsailing a, a class that I am doing <laughs> let's get back to the layout so I have um, basically torn my papers and cut my papers down to make two eight and a half by 11s. And like I said, I took that gray band that was in the sketch and I stretched it across a 12 by 12 um, or a 12 inch layout um, and then just manipulated the two edge pieces for, um, you know, for to fill in the gaps of my layout. I also took the stripe piece and mimicked the stripes that are in the sketch as well. And then instead of doing some sort of, um, I think it's called punchinella, uh, I just decided to use a pattern paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix media up these um, chipboard pieces. This is one of my favorite things to do with the dusty attic. It makes me feel so artistic. Um, and and like, I, like I made something, even though they did all the work for me and I just had to <clears throat> pick my colors. So uh, I am going to lay out everything before gluing all everything down just to see if uh, everything fits, especially the size of the fish. And then I'm going to take the sterling silver in um, the Distress 
stain, I think is what it's called, um, and go ahead and spray the ship's wheel to match the rest of the collection. And then I'm also going to spray my, um, my geared circle in just black soot. Um, I'm also going to spray the, bla the back of my fish in the black soot as well. Um, I actually double sprayed it because I wanted him to be black black um, instead of charcoal black. And then I'm going to spray the bones of my fish in that silver as well. And I'm going to add color to him by taking my... Um, uh, well, I have a Posca pen and then I have Thule Art pens. Um, the Posca pen is more like a silvery gray but not shiny gray. Um, and so I will be painting them to match. I just pulled some blues that I felt matched uh, the Simple Stories collection. And I really, I really just wanted my fish to blend with the collection. I didn't want him to stick out, even though my photos are very colorful. If I make all of my elements match um, the collection that I'm playing with, then my photos stick out that much more. And I, I don't feel like I'm hiding them if I add a whole lot, especially on an eight and a half by 11 page. So I'm going to go ahead and um, color everything in and then just do some accenting with this uh, silvery gray pen. Like I said, it's not, it's not so silver that it um, is metallic, but it does have a silver gray accent to it. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a matte silver, um, but it's not gray. I, I don't know. It's not a, I don't know. It's hard to explain. But I'm just filling in um, where all of the rivets are. And um, there's a few little, mm, I don't know, mechanical pieces on the heart and inside the gauge there and all that stuff. And I apologize that I didn't zoom in. I didn't even think about zooming in. And then where I made a mistake, the best part about paint pens is if you color outside the lines, you can just color on top and they they cover really well. You don't have to worry about your mistakes that you make. All right, I went ahead and glued my little fishy together. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. I am loving these mechanical fish by um, Dusty Attic. I just really want to buy the, the extra large sizes and put them in frames and, and post them around my scrap room. I really do. They, they are so much fun and per, they have great personalities. All right. So I went ahead and I flipped over that red pattern paper where, um, cause I ended up using the pattern, um, behind my photos instead of that solid, because why not? It's already there. And then I flipped it over so I could have these anchors. Now these are, um, photos, they're extra photos of me goofing off, um, my girlfriend and I are at the Pinners Conference, and we decided to go out to dinner, um, and we ended up at Joe's Crab Shack. Uh, so it was, uh, she she wanted um, crab. Uh, we both love crab. I absolutely love seafood, you guys. I really do. Um, I, I just, I'm, on, I'm in love with it. So as soon as she made a mention of let's go to Joe's Crab Shack, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. And so um, we were pretty much the only people there. So I walked around and took pictures of, um, of this very, I don't want to call it grungy, like it's dirty, but it was very um, industrial as far as the decoration. So there was sea life um, attached to the ceiling, making it look like they were swimming above you um, and whatnot. But the fact that I was seated right behind what looks like a boiler <laughs> kind of made me giggle. So I had to take that selfie um, with me and, and um, the piping behind me. I also had to take a picture of, you know, all the stuff that was epoxied into the table. There were brochures and flyers and all sorts of stuff for companies um, around the same area as Joe's. So they were almost like advertising for the other companies that were in the area as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and then of course, like I said, the, they weren't hiding the ceiling. They didn't make it to where it, it, um, you know, was covered. And then the ocean life was above us. No, it was all piping and, and the air ducting and all that good stuff. So I just, I really loved it. Now the two photos that, um, 
or the two photos, the two pages that these will be inserted in are a little bit more about me and my friends and um, the fact that we just love our time together. This is the one trip that we take a year that is just for us. We um, do our own thing. Uh, we enjoy the Pinners Conference together. It It's mine and hers retreat um, away from our lives, you know, and, and we've enjoyed it for a couple years now. Um, and we're next year, we're thinking about going to Boise. Um, this, we always go to the Salt Lake one, but next year we're thinking about going to the Boise one and checking out that. And then the year after that, we are thinking about going to the Sacramento one. So they are, um, relatively all close to us. In fact, we could probably do all three every year because they're never at the same time. But this one happens to be in November, and sometimes the pass to get out of Nevada and into, because um, we live in a valley, and so either direction, whether we go um, over Donner Summit um, to get out of Nevada on the California side, or we go over the Pequops to get out of Nevada on the Utah side. So either way, we have to go over um, quite a large mountain range, um, and November is just a hit and miss. Sometimes it's it's great to get over it, and sometimes it's not. Um, and so we're we're thinking of um, changing venues um, or locations for the Pinners Conference because of the time frame. So Boise's is in April, um, and I believe Sacramento's is in March. I'll have to double check that one. I'm not really sure, but uh, like I said, it, sometimes it just scares us um, to have to go over the Pequops. Um, in November. So, uh, so this year will be our last year. Uh, and then next year we're thinking of in, in Salt Lake. And then we're thinking of going up to Boise next year. So anyways, um, I went ahead and, uh, decided to, I, there was a bunch of elements in this banner piece that I really love. I love the lighthouse. I love the crab. I love how it says excursion. Um, I just really love all the elements, but I didn't like, um, the, the captain's wheel, and, and what it said, now I don't even remember what it said, but I love this little cluster that says best ever with another crab because we're at a crab shack. And so I, I technically picked out all the crab elements on my sticker sheet and my chipboard piece um, and added those to my layout to enhance the fact that we're at a crab shack. Um, it doesn't say anywhere on it that is a crab shack, like I said. Um, that the two picture or the two layouts that uh, this will be sandwiched in between will tell more of that story. Um, this one is more of the building itself and and what I what I found fascinating about the building. Um, so anyways, I definitely wanted um, to I wanted those crabs represented and so I'm glad I found um, at least the three crabs. And then the fact that these tickets by 49 and market and the film strips, the fact that they were all um, the same color, the same tone as the Simple Stories papers, that just thrilled me even more. I was like, oh my gosh, yay, I get to use more of these up because I feel like I have a ton of them <laughs> in my stash. Not that I want to just get them used up, but I do feel like I have a bunch of them and they just keep accumulating more and more and more. Um, so I definitely wanted... Um, or I was definitely thrilled that I got to use them all up. Um, I am using the fish and the banner piece as my main title. So I, I, I moved the title piece um, just a little bit because of the fact that I stretched this. But I do like the fact that I tried to keep my photos um, exactly like the sketch where there's the 4x6 on top and the 4x4 down at the bottom. Now my photos are not the exact same size and I did turn my photo so it's horizontal instead of vertical, but I did keep the two circular elements inside those corners exactly the way that the sketch um, showed. I just ended up taking the title out of one of those circular elements and moving it to another location um, to help me fill in some gaps basically. Um, I'm adding to my uh, my geared circle uh, just by adding some more personalized elements that allow me to to help tell my story. I love the tickets because we are at a restaurant. There's tickets and, and brochures and flyers and stuff um, plastered on our table. Um, so I, I felt like that helped definitely tell my story. Um, but yeah, I do love mixing and matching the pieces and making those little banner pieces work in my favor um, instead of having to 
cope with all the elements that they've put on the banner piece for me. Um, so that's one of my favorite things to do as well. So uh, truth be told, um, the only thing that's super old on this is the captain's wheel from Dusty Attic. But given the circumstances that uh, it blends really well with everything else, it doesn't look like an old element. It really does not. Um, could I have added a few more older elements? I don't really think I could have, uh, in all honesty. I just really like the fact that um, everything meshed really well together because those dusty attic chipboard pieces allow for that being that they are raw chipboard and they, they allow for it to um, be altered and freshened up. Um, so it doesn't matter how old they are, um, you can use them years and years and years down the road. Uh, it just depends on how you adapt them to the page that you're making. All right, you guys, that is what I have for you guys today. Don't forget to check out um, all the links down below for those of us that are playing along with Janet and her Stretch the Sketch series. Also too, I have a playlist down below for Scrap Timber. And then there's a huge link um, list for the Rediscover Your Stash uh, mixing old and new for um, today. I'm not really sure if it's going to be a link into the Facebook group or if it's going to be a big old huge long list because Sarah actually had a ton of people sign up for today and it was super exciting. So anyways, be sure to check out those links down there for Rediscover Your Stash and see how people are mixing their old product with their new product. All right, you guys, again, thank you so much and I will check y'all later. Bye.